One Owner Car Guy here, and what I got for you today is a beautiful 1995 Cadillac Fleetwood. Um, man, I said it in the other video here, no matter well, how long it is, these big body Fleetwoods will always be a brome to me, a brome de elegance at that. Um, they did something weird there in 88, 89, 90, 91, and the Fleetwood became the baby one, and the brome became the big one, and then all of a sudden they flipped back to the Fleetwood being the big one, and the DeVille being the small one, and I don't know what they were doing at GM. I think the John DeLorean days had came back or something, I don't know. But these 5'7 bubble body caddies are quite likely the best combo of a caddy ever made. Um, quite likely the best of any American car. Um, it's just hard to beat. You just... Caprice? A what? Come on, really? Uh, these Fleetwoods are the top-notch car here with this motor. Uh, check out my website, oneownercarguy.com, and um, you can always see about 60 more pictures on each one there. Sorry, it's hard to keep it in frame there going around sometimes when I'm up farther in the drive here. About 60 pictures on each one there on one oneownercarguy.com, and um, if you're missing the pictures, you're missing out. I'll go up close and show you any minor flaws and stuff on it. <clears throat> There's not much anything to talk about. Beautiful, kind of a candy apple maroon paint job. Burgundy metallic, I don't know. Um, coming up on it, it's really clean. Um, the chrome tapey stuff is kind of getting a little bit separated there like they all do. It actually came off in a piece here. There's some miscellaneous scratches here on the hood. And I have a, <coughs> excuse me, a picture, and I think they um, might have fixed a ding there. I found a picture in it when the second owner had bought it. A little scratch here, ding here. Lenses are in good condition. A little bit of fading right there, and a chip piece right here. Um, they dented it right there, and bent that back a little. Wheel wells are in great condition wheels in great condition. Underneath it, very clean car. I like one and two on a rigs. You get a better maintained rig that somebody's taken care of and paid a bit more money for. Man, this thing has just got a presence. Beautiful, luxurious, great riding car. A little bump right there or something. She rubbed against something. And this piece is a little, it actually just needs a little piece of dual-sided tape right there. Oh, ha, the screw popped out. Yep, the screw's popped out. I'll see what I've got here to put a screw back in that. Oh yeah, you put it down to the right height and it screws right on. Imagine that. I'll get that fixed for you. Small ding right there. I love the chrome rocker panels on these cars. They look great. Tranny pan on this thing, just clean as can be. The car drives, shifts, steers great. I'm sure you'll find some kind of wet gasket or something somewhere, but the thing don't leak all over. It's a two owner California rig. Um, I noticed that this mirror was black. And this one was maroon. You probably would have never noticed that. If, uh, that's exactly why I'm here. I want to tell you that kind of stuff. Small little chip there. But you really don't notice being on the other side. I don't know if they knocked it off and replaced it or what, but it's different. Um, top looks great. Now, the paint, you can see here, unless you get really close, you can. But you get close and you can see the clear coat is coming off the top of that. And it's not going to stop. It'll go a bit further. Um, and it's right here. Like that. Um, if you wanted that repainted, color match, blended, and I'd fix this ding and do the hood at the same time and have him do this panel. Um, you're probably looking at about 700 bucks. Um, there's a few more dings in it if you wanted him to completely do something. You could get it done pretty cheap here in California. Or paint the whole thing a different color. Right there. 
coming down like that on that piece. It's the last of it. More wrinkly on the chrome. So basically you'd have to paint this piece all the way to that door jam to make it match. Um, and then the back, I want to show you this over here. There's a slight ding right here. You can see this piece is a nice piece to cut off. You can paint this piece and match it perfectly. Um, so you got them little stress marks. So you know I'd have him patch up everything if he's going to do any painting and for seven to nine hundred bucks I can get that all done. Um, or leave it. It doesn't look bad. It's hard to pick out. I'm very picky about showing you everything. It's like this line here I want it to show in the sun. A couple little marks on it right here. Um, fading on the gray part going across that. Very hard to see but it is there and you can see uh, color variation there. Chrome's in great shape on the car. Beautiful cars. I'm going to take you around the block here. And, um, you know, I might do the interior tour here because we've got um, so much difference in light this time of day. A little ding right here. A little scratch right there with some little chips right there. And little scratches right there. And I think I showed you this piece of tape here. It's a little bit wishy-washy like they get. And you can buy them very cheap on eBay. Nice car. Oh. Right there. And the black stuff on this is separating like it does. You can see there. So. And. That is about. I was thinking there might have been a chip. But I don't think so. Um, this piece is in the trough there but can come out. So, it just seems to be pushed in there. There we go. It just wasn't pushed in there. So that is now. Beautiful car. I'm, I'm selling, I got a 94 in my store. A little cleaner on not having the dings. Um, 122 on it, one owner. Um, check the eBay thing here. Very good prices on them. Um, Nathan, 406-544. 6919. I've always got lots of caddies in, um, and I've also got lots of um, Mercedes and, you know, different odd stuff. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Um, let's see the inside up here. I got the perfect light. Yeah, lighting is perfect. Okay, door panels. Great shape. It's almost too dark. As you can see, there's some dust on it from me getting in and out of it, and dust on the pedals here, but hardly no pedal wear. Carpets are in great shape. Like I say, that's dust for me getting in and out. All nice and scoochy. Scoochy! A little bit of wear on the top coloring right there. No tear through. Okay, that's got to be getting to you too. Um, dash is in great shape. I'm going to hop in the back seat here and show you all that. I love the dark maroon interior with the dark maroon outside. It's beautiful. The um, carpets, well, here I am getting the back dust. Look at that. See how I am? <laughs> I just went to the body shop and picked up a car today, and there's dust all over the ground. And well, I'm tracking it all in and out of everything. Headliner's in great shape. Oh, I got a set of keys with me. Got two sets of keys, but only one key fob. And the tire here is in great shape. I don't think it's ever been on the car. Um, it's in beautiful shape. You got. Here's your original build sheet if you want to pause. And even the netting back here is here. That's your full view of the trunk. Auto suck down on that works fine. 
you know, it's probably not called an auto suck down. It's just all I can think of to call them usually. Beautiful car. I love the leather on these. These big body cars, they ride so nice too. There's just nothing like the way one of these rides. You put your little hat up there and you be Mr. Little Old Man that the cops won't mess with because you're just Mr. Little Old Man. Headliner's in great shape. Lights and all that work. <coughs> and your dash again. Airbags and everything everywhere on this car. As if being in a tank wasn't enough safety. Um, I'm not trying to hide anything on the seat. Let me show you that first. Beautiful condition. And as you can see, from what? 81710. We did the air conditioning for 1100, 784 on 3509. I mean, water pump and all kinds of stuff. It's on and on and on. There's all kinds. There's thousands and thousands. Oh, another 784, 241, 280. Oh, that was the same 784. 279, 352. I don't know, there's $3,500 for receipts here in the past three, four years. Lots of maintenance done. Um, couldn't find my glove compartment there. All your books and everything like that. So that's pretty cool to have. Pretty cool. Oh, I love the old pictures in these. Is it in there? Yeah. Forty-nine. And you know, all oh, the sixty. I had a fifty-nine. That was. Oh, there it is. I had a pink fifty-nine. Look at a GMC. They sent in a GMC out to fix this. The guy went through and. Underlined all kinds of stuff. Um, love these kind of cars where you got some history with them. And somebody went through and loved them and actually read the manual. Yes, sir. Imagine that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a view out the window here. Off the hood. That was the seats. Now, don't it wasn't a toot. A little scratch right there. I don't know if I showed that with a little scuff right there. And check out my other videos here. I got lots of one and two owner rigs. And got a contest coming up. Beautiful shape. That's all there is to it. Aluminum water pumps on these bad boys. Nice, original, unmolested car. Yeah, this thing is the cat's meow. Easy to work on. Get yourself a Chilton's or a Hanes. I don't know if it's some dust on it or... Yeah, it's dust on it. Yeah. Very, very clean under here. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com I'll get this thing wrapped around my hand here and do a little bit of a test drive for you. All here. Power options there. These things are definitely loaded. CD players, digital dash, air conditioning, cold as can be. 1100 bucks just spent on it. Um, I don't know how to turn it down. Okay, there we go. Plenty of um, power in these bad boys. It's Corvette-like power. It's just amazingly quick, fun to drive, uh, float down the road, and still turn around on just a nice little spot. 37 miles an hour, you're just floating down the road. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of slow here, and then we'll give it a little bit of Right up to 40 there, like it ain't no thing. And... We're 
all good everywhere. These things still turn on a dime even though they're nice and big. Like I say, check out the 94 in my other videos here and on One Owner Car Guy. It's a green one. Um, and lots of other Mercedes, Cadillacs, you name it. One and two owner stuff. Um, I'm going to go up to the end here. I know we've got all kinds of stuff in the driveway there. Once again, it's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. give you a little bit of a different view of it here. That pass key fault light comes on now and then. Don't know why. I got two pass keys and it says they're both fault. Maybe that's not what it means. Maybe I should read my manual. I bet you the guy that read it and made all the notes could tell me. Very nice car. Nathan 406-544-6919. Make sure and check out my other um, videos on here and subscribe. I got this contest going off. You could win a car for free. Nathan, 406-544-6919, oneownercarguy.com. I will help you export this to anywhere in the world you want. We'll import it right into your country. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Thanks for watching.